Is this the last time we could be buying Ethereum at these levels? It's like almost every single day there's a video about warning, urgent, Ethereum at 15, 16, 1700, going to $2,500 tomorrow. And what's happened? Back at 1500. So is this really the last time we can be buying Ethereum at these levels? So I'm gonna jump into in today's quick video update on Ethereum, because you know we cover that a hell of a lot on the channel. So if you wanna stay tuned with the updates on the cryptocurrencies, let me know, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon because YouTube has a way of shadow banning cryptocurrency content at the most inconvenient times. Also hit the like button if you find some value from the video. Let's get it to a thousand likes. It helps us out in the YouTube algorithm. YouTube makes us do a hell of a lot of work out there. All right, with that said, let's take a look at Ethereum and what the hell is going on. Is this the last time? Ethereum, 1600 USD, 186 billion dollar market cap with a total market cap of 1.2 trillion all right let's have a look at the chart here we're currently sitting at 1579 obviously this is a global accumulated average now here 1579 i like this pattern the reason being is we see a breakout above the old highs and there were many highs that were that have been set and i've done videos a couple of times through the way up uh, especially on the breakout as well. So we can pretty much use the breakout at around 1430, which is the old all time high in that vicinity of 1420 to 1440, or somewhere back down here where the closes were at that 1380 level. There was a lot of time underneath that level and not many closes above it. So the closes the, on the bar just to the right hand side. So we're currently sitting above that level. We have come back and almost tested the old high to the dollar. So there's the high there at 1477. Yesterday's bar got to 1493. So a few bucks between friends, cool. We have now broken out, come back and retest it, sat on the old highs. It looks like a beautiful one day swing setup. If the market happens to ruin this setup, so be it. But personally, I don't think we are going below these thousand dollar levels anymore. I think those are now gone. If they do happen to be there, I reserve my right to be wrong, this is trading, investing, we can always be wrong. There is no 100% right answer to any of this, but I'm just going with my experience and probabilities that I see on the chart using swing trading. If you wanna know more about the course, I do have a link to that in the description. It's 40% off for a limited period of time. Uh, there's a few spots left at 40% off. So you wanna know more about trading and cryptocurrency trading and long-term investing, go and check that course out down below. So this is the setup. We've seen it multiple times happen through Ethereum, through other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. And this was the major one on Bitcoin that I was so convinced that we're going up a hell of a lot more, which is what got me into Bitcoin. So here are some old highs. This was the triple top in Bitcoin. You know, I, if you're a long time viewer of the channel, you know I refer back to this a lot. It's just a beautiful setup. I'm gonna bring this to a weekly chart so that we can see a macro pattern play out. And we just want to get this area through here, top, top, top. The market breaks out and then sits on the old tops again. Basically, it comes back to test this price level. Are there still buyers at this level? Is there strong buying at this level? Or is it just a fake out and we're gonna break back below it? In this case, it broke above it and continued up. There is, a, there is the possibility of it breaking down underneath that level. There's no one right answer. But when you see this pattern play out, it's generally a bullish pattern and the probabilities are that it's going to continue in the bullish direction. Breaking through a major bear structure is generally a very big bullish structure. So let's go back to Ethereum. Just had to use that as an example. ETH USD. Now we are at these tops. Look at the macro here we have a double top, which was clearly broken out pretty quickly when you consider how macro this view is. This is actually on a monthly, can be a monthly view as well. Broken the tops, reasonably strong volume compared to the history of its volume. And we are just taking a breather at these levels. Now, if I bring it back down to a daily chart, we have a nice little swing setup. The resistance has broken, come back as support. So this is like an SNR flip. We're getting a resistance flip to support. That's a strong sign. If it breaks down, then things get very scary because this should be a very strong bullish signal. So that's why 
I think this is one of the last times. We've had many opportunities. And like I said, with the last times, I've been buying on each of those opportunities because there is every possibility that Ethereum goes from that 15 or 1600 level and it shoots past 18, goes to two and a half, goes to 2800 and beyond. But for now, I'm taking as many opportunities as I can. The market doesn't always give us all of these opportunities. And when they're there, we've got to take them or at least I got to take them. Here's another example on Ethereum looking back at a support and resistance flip. There was resistance, almost resistance, but we had one of the moves here and then a small minor move here as resistance. Market has broken above and then come back and sat on it as support as a double bottom, which is also a bullish signal. And of course, the rest is history. We have absolutely skyrocketed from that resistance support flip. So this tends to be a very strong pattern. This is on a smaller time frame, so I'm wary of that as well. But at the end of the day, we have broken through the old tops and we've got to take a bet one way or the other. We can't just be sitting on the sidelines forever, just waiting and waiting and waiting for the final level of conviction because the final piece of conviction is usually the ultimate top. That's when everyone is piling into the market. And from that point, there's no more buyers left and the market tanks from there. What usually happens psychologically in trading and investing is I'm going to wait and see what other people do. I'm going to wait until it's safer. The safest time to buy is at the bottom, but it's the scariest time to buy. And right now we are breaking through all time highs, which is another safe point to buy. Now, if it does break down again, it could be there for some time. So I reserve my right to be wrong. I could be completely wrong on this. But from my experience, this is what I'm doing because I've seen it happen time and time again. It's not 100%, but it happens often enough that I can make money from it. So there's the breakout. Will we see another few days from here? Possibly. Will we see a better price? Possibly. But there's also the opportunity that we don't see a better price and the market goes off without us. A side note to the point that I'm buying is I've bought a lot of Ethereum through the lower levels. So I don't need to be buying so much up here. I want to buy to follow along with my plan. And my plan is to buy on these sorts of swings, a breakout and a retest. I like to buy because it confirms my beliefs of the market and it allows me to continue tracking these rules. So that's the reason why I'm buying. I'm not buying because I need to keep loading up on big heavy bags. So keep that in mind, depending on where you're at with your own portfolio, this is how I'm playing it. And of course, the videos online here are for educational purposes only. This is not financial advice. That'll wrap us up for the Ethereum update video of what I see happening in the market. If you enjoyed the video and you found some value from it, hit the like button down below. Let's get it to a thousand likes on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've done 50,000, thank you so much. Let's go for 55,000 and hopefully get to 100,000 before this bull market is over. So hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you can be updated with this crypto content as it comes out. Catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.